Hey everybody and welcome. In this video I'm going to show you two ways of editing externally when it comes to Blender and images. Why would you want to do that? Well Blender isn't the best at image editing and there's not a vast array of tools so you may be better off using an external editor like Microsoft Paint or more realistically something like GIMP, Critter, Criter, uh, Adobe Photoshop etc. I'm going to delete the default cube and insert a mesh plane. Why? Well, the mesh plane already comes unwrapped, so does the cube, but it's an easier representation to work with. It's a plane, so we can work on it really easy, and you can scale this up to any of the other models that you want to work on. Next, we need to go perhaps to the texture paint and create ourselves a new image. There are lots of places you can do this in Blender, but I'm gonna create a new image in the texture paint. I'm gonna call this tutorial or something along those lines, and the resolution and everything else doesn't matter at the moment. You can change that as per your project. Now that we've done that, I'm just going to put a couple of dots on because I accidentally clicked. But we can see over on the 3D viewport that everything's pink. That means the texture isn't applied to this object. So let's go and sort that out. Under the shading workspace, and this may take a few moments to open up. Once it is opened up, we can click new. And let's drag from this base color socket across. A new noodle will form and we can type in the word image and plug it into the image color output. That's important and you'll see why in a bit. And we could create a new image here if we hadn't done before, or we can select the one that we've just made, go back to the texture paint, and there we go. Now I'm gonna keep it at this angle at the moment because this area where it's lit will become very important. Okay, first one, over in the image editor, we can actually work on this image, but we do have to have it in one place externally to Blender. If we go ahead and try and edit externally, it says the image path cannot be found. Image may be packed, Packing images into Blender is something that I'd highly recommend if you're sharing your work. However, it's not great if you need to edit it externally because the external program can't find it. So let's go ahead, image, save as, and just save that. And obviously you give it a specific name with whatever you're working on. Now, if we try to edit externally, it doesn't know the program. So let's go and sort that out. Edit, preferences, go all the way down on the left-hand side to path files, no, file paths, there and then go down to applications at the bottom and there's an area here for image editor. Click on the folder and this is where it will vary from system to system. If you're on a Mac, you probably go to the applications folder and just pick it up from there. If you've installed something through Steam, you'll need to go to your Steam library folder. I'm gonna be doing that in a few moments and you may find that on your system, you may need to go into the program files folder, depending on the program that you want to use. I'm gonna use Critter or Criter, and for me, that's installed on my E drive under Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, and there we go, Critter or Criter. Um, I need to go into this folder, and this particular layout, I think I need to be in bin. Let's scroll down for a bit. Yes, here's critter.exe, I'm gonna click accept. Now all being well, once you've pointed Blender towards the program that you want to use, and then under image, you can go to edit externally, and if Critter is already open, then it will load it up in a new tab. If not, it will load up the program, and there we go. And let's put a nice circle in the middle. There we go, and we can change the color as well. Ha, <laughs> fantastic, I could win. Oh, it's a green pizza, nice. Anyway, once you've drawn your art masterpiece, you can go ahead and save that image. Then I'm gonna minimize Critter for the moment. Nothing's changed here, why not? Blender doesn't automatically refresh, so I'm gonna press N to open up the sidebar, go to image, and there's a refresh button right there. Is there a refresh button under here? Yes, Alt and R, reload. Let's try that instead of going through a menu. Alt and R, perfect. Now we can see here, this is absolutely fine and it's automatically been applied to a model. That's exactly what we want to do. However, there is another way, specifically in the 3D view, where we can take what we can see there and export that and work on it. And that can be useful in many, many ways. However, uh, there is a warning and that is we need to make sure that we're working on something without lights. And by the way, if you're liking the video so far and finding it useful, a like would be really appreciated and a sub would be fantastic. Anyway, so how do we go ahead and use the 3D editor in order to do this? Well, I'm going to maximize this view with control and space for the moment so I can see everything along the toolbar at the top. And we need to go to the options menu. And we can see here we've got external underneath. A side note here that's also available under the side panel under tool. If we scroll down, it's also under options just here and external. And yes, back to previous for the moment, if you've got the tool properties open, it's also available in, in exactly the same place down here. 
Anyway, let's go back to maximize and have a look at this options menu. I'm gonna make sure external is down and now we've got a couple of options. First of all, it's what you're seeing. So just bear that in mind. If we zoom out like this, it'll be a lot different to if you've zoomed in massively. The next thing is the resolution. Because we're taking a screen grab of what's here, 512 by 512 might be too low. I usually recommend maybe 2048 as a minimum as to what we're looking at. And then we just click quick edit. Now I've still got Critter open, so I know if I go to it, it's gonna be there. And you can see here, it's actually quite zoomed out in comparison as to what it was when we were working on the image itself, which looked more like that. So we're gonna have a much lower resolution drawing on this than we had before. But notice this lighting. So I'm just gonna draw an L around the outside. I think these colors here are more mute than before as well. So that's not good. But I'll show you how to sort that in a moment. But first of all, how do we get this across? Well, we save that, go back over into Blender, and it's not there. Well, there are a couple of other options. We can see here, apply is one of them. And that's gonna project the edited image back onto our object. And we can see there it faded out as well. So this isn't an ideal workflow if we can't preserve what's already there. So how do we make sure that what we've got here is actually preserved? Well, if we switch our view to material preview, and then using this drop down, switch the render pass to just have diffuse color. And then we're just seeing the surface of the model, how it is. And you can see here how we accidentally ended up with the light being baked into the surface of our model. Let's go back to previous and let's just clear this image down so it doesn't have anything extra on it anymore. And I'm just gonna paint over everything in a nice big black brush like so. So we're back to having a blank image. You can also create a new one if that tickles your fancy. We can't see the thing anymore because it's black on black. Now before we had some red colors, so let's go ahead and add some of those in. I'm gonna make my brush a little smaller with the F key. So we've got these lovely dots as we had before. And you can see now that the viewport actually is reflective as to what we have. So now we can go ahead and save our image. And if we were to go ahead and edit it externally, what we would see hopefully is exactly that. We can put whatever we want into that and save it and come back. And then when we have a look over here and reload it with Alt and R, it's back on there. And from the viewports here, let's go ahead. In fact, because I've got it open on the properties, I'm just going to hit quick edit, go back over into Critter. Here's our quick edit. And I'm going to do a quick squiggle there and save. OK, minimize. Let's apply it, but watch closely. Let's see the colors not change. Perfect. And there we go. That wraps up how you can edit images externally from within Blender. Smash like if you've liked it, subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video.